One of the ultimate goals in modeling each project, particularly in BIM projects, is to export the most accurate material quantities. Its level of accuracy depends directly on the level of detail and modeling itself. By the end of this video, you will learn how to create the best possible material takeoff. Let's start by going to the view tab. In here, I'm going to go to these schedules. And honestly, it's a bit weird for me that we have these schedules in the view tab. Let me know in the comment section if you feel the same. So in this part, I'm going to select this material takeoff. And in here, first of all, you need to select a category. For example, if you want to export the materials of your ceiling, or if you want to export the materials of the doors, floors, walls, whatever you want, first you need to select the category. I'm going to select these floors and then in this part you can change their name and also if you have like multiple phases you can change this part too and put it on for example the final phase okay and then you're going to click on okay next in this part we are going to select between the parameters that we want to see on the sheet on the takeoff okay so let's see what we have in this part first let's check the materials so we want to see the area after that, I want to see, I want to add an image for each one of the materials and also the name of the material. You can add any other thing you want. Let's also add this count. I also want to see the level. So I'm going to add this one too. Let's check again and I think it's okay. You can add the structural material, the slope if you want, or type. Let's add type too. Now on the other side in here, you can change their orders. For example, I want to see the name of the material first and I want to have the image at the end. Also, I want to see the type, the places that this material has been used the after the name. Okay, so I'm going to set it like this. These options in here are also very helpful sometimes. So for example, in here you can create a new permit, you can create a calculated permit, or you can create a combined permit together. So for example, if you have a, a width and the length of something, you can combine together in here and show them on your sheet together. Okay, so if you want to create things like this, you can use these options in this part. Click on OK and let's see the schedule. So in here you can see a very long list and the count is one for all of them. And obviously we don't have this long list of the material on our project. Okay, so we need to like customize it to like read it better so the next thing we need to do is to make it readable make it easier to understand and read so let's go to sorting and grouping and first thing i usually do is to just uncheck this itemize every instance okay if we do this all of the material is going to be combined together and we are going to just see the overall count okay to fix it we are going to go back to sorting and grouping section and we're going to sort them by the things that we want to see most okay so depending on your need you can sort them by levels by type the name or the area sometimes you can change their place so in here i want to see them by their name okay and then i'm going to click on this grand total too so i can see some titles and counts there too now this is much better we can see the name of each material in this part after that we have this material area i prefer to see the type next so i am going to change the order from here i'm going to move type up okay and now we have this type the next call you see these varies in this part this means that this material was used in different types of floors for example we have this material on a kitchen floor on bedroom floor and on different parts okay so for example in this part we have the parking and this is because this dark concrete was used only on parking okay and we don't have this material on any other part for example we don't have dark concrete on the lobby okay 
Now, if you want to fix this, we need to go to sorting and grouping again, and we need to set the second row on the type parameter. Okay, you can make these, for example, this name of material or the type of the floor, you can set them on header or on footer. Okay, it depends on your need. I'm not going to set them on any of these and then I'm going to just click on OK. Now in here you can see all of the type of floors that has these materials on them. For example, we had the lobby, we have the bedroom, bathroom, balcony and all of these things with these materials. On the next column we have the area and we again see these varies in this part but the type of this problem is different. Okay, we don't have like different types of areas in here, right? So this is because of the formatting. This is because of the calculation of the area that we see this varies in this part. And to fix that, we need to go to the formatting. And in here, we are going to select this material area first. In here, you can see that it is set on no calculation. So we are going to change it and switch it to calculate totals and then click on ok and you can see all of the material areas in this part and also you can see a overall calculation of that too in the next column we have these levels and you can see all of the levels on the building in here again we can see these varies and the type of these varies is exactly like the problem that we had in the floor type in this section so it means that for example this material on this floor type was used in different floors on different levels i mean okay so probably we have this material on the balcony on second floor third floor and on other floors too you see the number in this word so this is because of that to fix it go to sorting and grouping again and set the third row on the level honestly i don't suggest doing it this way because after like these parts if you set the third row on level there will be no difference between creating a sheet like this or like itemizing each type okay so i am going back to none for this part and i think we can use it this way if you want to have your levels first if you want to like create a material takeoff based on the levels you can change the orders okay so let's go to field section and i'm going to move this one up so after the levels i want to see the names and then the type then we are going to go to sorting and grouping and i'm going to set it on levels and i want to check this header so we can see each level after that i'm going to put this on materials and then click on ok now this way you can see all of your stories in here you can see all of them like this and next to them you can see the materials that has been used in each story and after that you can see the type again if you want to see the types i am going to set this one on type and ok so this is the perfect way that you can create a sheet like this of course if the stories if the levels are very important for you i know i can see that this sheet is also very long and it is exactly like itemized but it is clean and you can see and read it much better for example in here now if you want to see how much dark concrete you have in the first story you can see it in this part or for example if you want to check what you have in the sixth story in the sixth level you can check it perfectly in here so these are two different ways of creating material takeoffs and for example in this way in the second takeoff you don't need this count in here okay this is like unnecessary but in this part in the material images you can add a material and i think it is very good in the final sheet not on this type of takeoff but on the other one i'm going to go back to the first setting and now i'm going to show you how you can use this material image so in this part you just need to click on here and then in here you can manage all of the images of your materials if you like have any 
Sample for the materials that you have used on your building on your project, you can select them in this part. So for example, if you want to add a new one, you can click on here and then select the image of that material. So I'm going to go to here and select this dark concrete and it will be in this part. And if we click on OK, we can select it for this isolation i am going to select that for this dark concrete in this part and for example for the pavement i'm going to select another one for example this brick for the first one i'm going to select none but we had this marble in here dark marble i'm going to select this marble material which is not dark but i'm going to select it we can see these images in here if you want to check them you can create a sheet like this and then you are going to just drag this floor material takeoff in your sheet like this and all of the materials that you have set are in this part i'm going to move it to here and in here you can see the name of the materials some of the floor types the overall area and the total area of each material that has been used on this project the level some of their levels the count and also the material image which i think it's very important to have it on your material takeoff okay you can also change the format of this table for example you can change it in this part you can move these parts around like this and you can change the font the size to or you can go back to material takeoff and in this part for example you can select the text and change its font you can change its size change its alignment or you can just select a comb and like uh, highlight it add sheets borders and things like this if you don't want to do these in Revit and you want to like use them in Excel, you can just simply export it. So for that, you can go to File, Export, and in this part, you are going to go to this Report and then Schedules. Simply give it a name and an address and in this part, you can set it on CSV or TXT. If you select TXT, you can just save it as a TXT and then import it into your Excel and work on it there. So this was everything you need to know about material takeoff. If you want to learn more about the schedules and quantities, door schedules, window schedules, you can watch these two videos. Hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I will see you next time.